User Management. In order to invite users to your account, click on the Invite button and provide the user's email address. Once your invitation has been accepted, you can customize user permissions. Here is the list of options you have. Can see company pipeline. User can access company sales pipeline. Can approve documents. Access to approved docs section where the administrators can review submitted documents. Can submit transactions for approval. This permission allows the user to submit transactions for review. All documents have to be uploaded and or set as exemptions. Can submit individual documents. Allows the user to submit individual documents for review. Can see reports. Access to all company reports. Can request custom reports. Ability to request custom reports. Can access account activity. Access to company account activity. Can manage company settings. Access to company settings section. Can edit company info. Ability to change company information. Can manage users. Ability to invite users to the system. Can manage checklist templates. The ability to set up checklist templates. Can create transactions. Allows user to create transactions. Can access all company transactions. Gives access to all company transactions. Can change transaction checklists. After a checklist has been assigned to a transaction, the user has permission to edit or remove items from the list. Can close transactions. If this permission is enabled, the user can close complete transactions. All items have to be submitted and approved. Can close not approved transactions. If this permission is enabled, the user can set transaction status as closed for transactions with incomplete items. Thank you for watching our tutorial.